It's a lot of propellers they give you. Okay, here's the th here's the thing. Um, let's, let's throw let's throw that there for a second. Uh, today we're talking about the Mavic Three. They've made uh, the Mavic Three Cine. They've made a huge update to this drone. Look at that. Uh, you can tell just with like the leather hard shell comboed leather magnetized. Like, look at that. This thing is built to last. I don't know why the little details get me, but I swear this this lens cover might be my my favorite feature. This is magnetic. Clips on, and then it slaps down, right? Really, really cool propeller guard, camera cover, gimbal, safety. And that thing just slides right off. Look at that. Yikes. Where does it hit the light? Oh, look, beautiful. Beautiful. There's the back. Side. Other side. It sounds good too. When it takes off and just rips by, it sounds different. It sounds meaner, more aggressive. It kind of reminds me of the Phantom Obsidian that they made. So there it is. Classic Mavic size. Camera's all over it. Vents up top. Boom. Dual cameras. Two cameras on the front this time. That's the new hype right there. That's what H is for, hype. Hasselblad. Um, propeller motors are black. Everything's black on this. It's just, it looks awesome. The battery's quite large. Look at this. Bam. And they sit in that big tray. Okay, three batteries in a tray. Plug that tray in. They all charge consecutively. Not all at the same time, rather. Just uh, one, then the next, then the next. All your sensors and cameras on the bottom. It's a good looking drone. It looks updated, it looks upgraded. But is it any good? Because none of this matters if it's no good. We can load it with features, but if those features don't provide you any additional value as a creator of any kind, who cares? Let's keep going through it. The remote, the new updated smart controller. Uh, that is sick with the screen built in. The screen's fantastic. You can actually record the screen. That's one of the features in here. There's an SD card slot in the in the smart controller itself, which is in there right now. Very comfortable to hold. I love not using my phone. Love not using my phone. Huge fan of that. It's also massive. Like it is. Do you remember Game Gear? Who had a Game Gear? It's like bigger than a Game Gear. <laughs> it's it's huge. It is huge. It's it's bigger than an iPad Mini. Yeah, you know what? Hang on a second. They are like the same size. The iPad mini might be a little bigger. So it's it's a big it's a big remote. That's taking up space in your camera bag for sure. All right, what else is cool? Mavic Cine, what does that mean? We got NDs. Nice little ND packages. You know me, I love an ND filter. These are cool. Coming from DJI on these ones. Straight from the home brand. This little thing flips down. They open up that way. Beautiful. You got four, eight, 16, and 32. And these ones go to the moon. 64, 128, 256, 512. That is some serious ND. 512? Like, I don't know when I would ever use that unless I was shooting on the surface of the sun. I might use it. <laughs> They're pretty hyped on this cable here. This high quality braided USB-C to USB-C. That is a thick cable. That's a sturdy, like, you could rappel down the side of a building with this cable, and I wouldn't be worried that anything would happen. And you could probably be transferring data from both ends while rappelling. I even like this little power brick. USB-C on the end. These flip up. Thank you for letting them flip up. Nothing should not flip 
when you're talking about a power brick. That fits in bags and pouches. That goes in the trash. Pumped, 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 pumped. Battery life, very, very good. That's the biggest complaint I have with drones is typically you, you send it up and by the time you find something that you like, you gotta bring it back because that thing's beeping at you and it's beeping at you, it's super stressful. So the battery improvement here, I wrote it down. I wrote it in a note. Yeah, we were seeing like, we were seeing over 40 minutes of flight time, which is for a drone, that's so good. If you can't get what you need in 40 minutes with one battery, you've got three batteries here. If you get extras, it's like an, almost an hour and a half. No, two hours of flying before you got to charge. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Also notice the speed of this camera. The speed of this camera was really, really fast. We're talking on a normal day without like crazy winds or anything like that. 70 kilometers an hour if you're American. Time to open up Google. <laughs> Kirk flashed the miles per hour there. The signal strength of this thing, rock solid, even at ridiculous distances. Not once do we have any type of signal failure or it's getting weak or the transmission's starting to flicker or you start getting that like, uh-oh, should probably turn around. Didn't even enter the head, which is great. When battery life and signal aren't a thing to worry about when you're flying a drone, it makes flying the drone a lot more enjoyable. It gives you time to find the footage, to find the angles. You don't have to worry about like, okay, don't have a lot of time, gotta make this count. Like, you can just peruse around and look for what might be cool. And that's how half of these shots of the intro were shot and found. Pull over, send the drone up, look around, film something, bring it back, repeat. Uh, the low light performance both in photos and video was exceptional. Mostly think when you're like flying a drone, it's just not really like a nighttime activity. It's like, oh, it's getting dark. Let's, let's, bring, let's bring that in. I think nighttime drone stuff is really interesting. I think it's really, really cool. I kind of want to do more of it. I would almost rather fly at night than fly during the day, especially if you live anywhere near a city and it's safe and you're within proper zones where you're able and allowed to do that, licensed, all those things. It looks so good. Okay, let's talk about the zoom camera real quick, all right? So, two cameras on this. There's a zoom camera, which is 160 mil with an aperture of f4.4. Now this zoom camera shoots in JPEG only. It's a half inch sensor, so that's 12 megapixels. The second camera is a 24 millimeter camera. Now that one's a micro four thirds sensor with 20 megapixels and it shoots JPEG and RAW. Now I found as you zoomed in more and more with those cameras, the quality seemed to get softer and softer. Uh, I snapped several photos of comparison so you could see uh, one Gabriel's car. If we go from the far wide shot and we move all the way in to the closest shot, you'll see that quality kind of deteriorates and gets soft as you get closer. Now there were a lot of features that I didn't get to try out because those will be coming in January via a new firmware update. That was hyperlapse, master shots, focus track with the new active track 5.0, point of interest, quick shots, panorama, quick transfer, 4G transmission, which I don't believe is available in Europe. So that's a, that's a lot of exciting stuff that I did not get to play with because it's coming in a January 2022 firmware update. Definitely something to look forward to because I feel like active track only gets better and better. So I can imagine in this thing, it would be so sick. Okay. This is gonna blow your mind. Now it's only with the Cine version of the Mavic 3, but this has a built-in internal one terabyte hard drive and it is amazing. Amazing? It's amazing. How many times have you gone to fly a drone and been like, oh, I didn't, I don't have a micro SD. Like you're all ready, the controller is out, you're ready to send it to the sky and you don't have a micro SD. That happens all the time, for me anyway. So internal one terabyte, incredible. And the transfer speeds of that. Can you guys literally hear? Can you guys literally hear Uncle Dom outside just burning up and down this street? Sheesh. The transfer speeds from the internal terabyte drive are incredible and super fast. So that is a, it's a welcomed update. Love that. So that is an incredible feature, which I'm pumped on. One less thing to remember, one less thing to forget, actually. I was very excited about that. By the time we were done flying this thing, there was still pretty much 30% left of that battery every single time. I never had to bring it back once because it was beeping on me. It's the most responsive and stable drone to date. 
I think adjusting some of the camera settings in the pro mode was a little, uh, a little cumbersome. If I had to nitpick something, kind of wish DJI would come up with a little more of an intuitive interface to change that and make those settings a little easier and faster to spot on the fly. That's, that's nitpicking if I had to. It's not like a, a big issue by any means, but you know, would be nice. Oh, let's talk about the, the bag. Came in this came in this kit. I've personally never used DJI bags. Like I usually just unbox it and then throw it into my own kit. This is pretty cool though. Um, it's a side bag. This opens up inside, very soft. Like look, you can see how soft that is. Drone obviously goes in here. Underneath this, you've got slots for all the batteries, the controller right behind it, like everything has a beautiful slot, just perfect. Like when you go out to fly with this thing, the NDs fit in this little zippered pouch together, side by side. So that's just super awesome. Those fit in there. The controller slides right in. Obviously if you take the thumbsticks off and store them inside the remote like you're supposed to, that just fits down in there so good. And then when that cover is on the front of this drone, it just slides in. Careful not to cut yourself if you're ever doing that without a cover. It just slides in there. Absolutely perfect. That goes over top. With how soft it is, you just know anything you put in this thing is protected. Screens are protected. Lenses are protected. NDs are protected. You're feeling good. And up here in the lid, if you unzip this all the way, get this strap out of the way here, you unzip it, backpack straps roll out and it kind of turns into like a little backpack. Where have I seen that before? I've seen that somewhere before. Where was that? Hmm. So that's about all I can tell you about this new drone. Um, hope you enjoyed the footage. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of the intro, uh, what it looks like. I hope that was enough to kind of get you acquainted with this new hardware. I would really have loved to have tried those new features. This is how you put that, uh, this crazy thing back on. So, so these two bumps cover the two uh, rotors on the bottom. So this just kind of drapes over top, bam, covers it up. Make sure your propellers are underneath there. That clips over the back. You turn it around, make sure propellers are there. Clips them. It's kind of like a bungee cord. Pull that up, magnetizes on, and you're set. So it's very easy to do, way better than anything they have ever made. That's the greatest drone cover in existence. They've done a lot of upgrades here. It's phenomenal. With those firmware updates, when we can actually take advantage of a lot of the tech that they've built into these, you know, little miracle flying robots, I think we'll be, we'll be getting some real awesome footage. You won't be missing. You won't be missing as much as you, you know, human errors removed from drone flying. And that's a good thing because there's a lot of it. Well, missed focused, missed shots, crashed drones, and the more tech that goes into these to prevent all of that and make sure those things are not happening and being focused on, that's cool. And this will definitely deliver on that. I know once that firmware update comes out, this thing is going to rip. More than it already did, so that's your first look at the Mavic 3. If you're just looking for something like that one and done drone that's gonna give you that cinematic buff with all the features to not have to worry about certain things that you used to have to worry about, this is gonna be it, man. This is gonna be it. This is the ticket right here. So, DJI, thanks so much for sending this along and letting me play with it. Uh, I appreciate that, I appreciate you. And great job. You guys, I, I, do you sleep? Do you do anything other than just make products every day? And the answer is probably no, because who comes out with a cinema camera, a new action camera, and like a fully redesigned cinema drone? Like in a month, <laughs> what? Who's doing this? Kudos to that team, because you guys are on another level. That's it for me, guys. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. I appreciate you, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sticking with me while I checked out this camera. It's a little more casual. I wanted to make it different. I wanted to, I don't know, make it feel like, uh, like you were just here hanging. I had a good time. I love making vids. I love new tech too. Like this is unreal. It's unreal where it's going, where it's gone. Where will it go? What, what year are we in? 
see ya.